Okay, so in this tutorial, we are going to make this building texture. Not the highlight, the texture. Because we already made the highlight before. The link will be in the description. I just want to give a big thanks to everyone supporting me on the Patreon. Especially the ones that are subscribed to the Diamond and Golden Spoon tier list. Alright, let's return to the tutorial. Okay, so before we do the textures, I just want to set up some lighting here for the building. Because that is also pretty important. So since we have that highlight in the middle of the building, I'm going to assist it with two little area lights. One is going to be scaled up so that the entire face of the building is a bit brighter than normal. And then I'm also going to duplicate that area light and scale it down so it runs across the building like this. Okay. So now that we have our lighting set up, I'm just going to change that color to a bit blue and lower the power of the light to about 4. Okay, so that's our lighting. Now we can start the texture. So I'm going to bring in a noise texture and then I'm going to change the scale to around 16 and up the detail. Then I'm going to control T the noise texture and I'm going to scale it down on the Z axis as well as bring it up on the Y axis. This is because then we have a nice painterly kind of streaks across the building which is not very noticeable. You could obviously change that but I'm going to make it barely noticeable by changing the black color of this color ramp I brought in front of it. Then I'm going to bring in a mix color and plug the color ramp into the factor of the mix color. So this is so that the colors I set in the A and B sockets will be influenced by the noise texture. The B color I will set to something of a light blue and later on I will change the A color to something of a purplish color. Okay, and now we are going to bring in a brick texture. And this is because I want to make this building seem like it has bricks. So I'm going to edit the brick width and brick height um, by setting the brick width higher than 1 and doing the same to the brick height. Then I'm going to control T the brick texture and set the texture coordinates to UV. This is because then I can go to the UV tab and then uh, scale the brick texture to however I want, which you could also do with the brick width and row height, but I decided to use both and I also made the mortar size smaller. I changed the mortar color before duplicating the brick texture then plugging the texture coordinate and mapping nodes into the texture I just duplicated. This one I'll set the colors to white and make the mortar color black since I'm going to plug it into a bump node because the bump node works with black and white values. The black indicates the bump and the white indicates what shouldn't have bumps. Then I'm going to plug in that brick texture into a bump node through a color ramp and plug that bump node into a, the normal of the BSDF. And then I'm also going to plug in that other node tree we made into the base color of the BSDF. Okay, so we have something working. I'm just going to change some of the colors of the texture. Now we bring in a mix color and I'm going to make a basic gradient node tree. So a gradient node, control T that gradient node, rotate it on the Y so the shadow is coming from the bottom and then I'm just going to move it a bit so that there is more shadow. Okay. Now bring in a color ramp, plug the color ramp in front of the gradient node and then I'm going to crunch the sliders and make both sides black. There we go. This is so that the center is the brightest part of the shader. Then I'm going to set that mix color into multiply and plug that gradient node tree into the B socket. Okay. Now this can be plugged into the base color of the BSDF and let's see how it looks. Boom. Boom. Okay, so now we are going to do something that will change the entire shader. It may look a bit bland now, but if we do this one thing, it will make it way better. I'm going to bring in a noise texture, change the detail and the roughness of the noise texture, control T that texture, 
and bring in a color ramp in front of it. I'm going to make the black a little brighter and I'm also going to crunch the sliders a bit. Then plug that into the roughness of the BSDF. And voila! Without, it makes a, hu makes a huge difference. And it looks even better if we plus it with the highlights we made in the previous tutorial. And that is it for this tutorial. I hope you guys enjoyed and learned some stuff from it. This blend file will be available on the Patreon soon, inshallah. The link will be in the description as soon as it comes up. And by the time this video uploads onto YouTube, the forest environment should be up on the Patreon for the Golden Spoons, uh, inshallah. But that is it for me today, and I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. See you in the next one. Alright, bye.